introduce yourself and get started, that's great. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to be short and sweet. I know you guys have crazy schedules, so I want to keep it very short. I know you guys have a lot on your plate right now, um, but my name is Sarah Abatello. I am here from Lighthouse Counseling, and I recognize some of your names because way back when I did work at in the CMO as well. Um, so basically just what I want to do today is my objective is just to give out information so that you guys have our resources and it might be useful to yourself or also the families that you work with. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if I can share my screen right now and you guys are gonna have to let me know if you can see it. Let's see, can you see it? Nothing. Let me see if I have to give you permission. Permission. Okay. Yeah. And if not, then we'll just do it without the PowerPoint. Oh, now we can see it. Okay. So can you see the PowerPoint that's yes. right now? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't see you guys, but as long as you can see it, we'll go with it. Okay. Um, so basically, like I said, just an introduction. Um, my name is Sarah, I'm a clinician here. I'm trained in EMDR as well as sand play. Um, the owners of Lighthouse, which some of you are familiar with are- Gretchen Sarah, Rose. sorry to interrupt, but the full, it's like blurry, the full screen. It's just a blur now. Is it better when it was smaller like that? Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. we can see it. Perfect. So we'll just do that. Okay. Um, we're going with it. Um, <laughs> so this is um, Gretchen Morgan is the owner as well as Mary Pat. She just passed away. I know some of you guys have worked with her too, but Gretchen is in full force, um, still providing services and like all of us here at Lighthouse. So this is just a quick overview. Um, I'll go over a brief history of Lighthouse, our mission here, services and conditions we treat, group therapy, sand play trainings that we offer, and then also our free hour and a half training that we offer um, at various locations we go out within the community. Um, so first, this is just history. This is Gretchen on your left and Mary Pat on your right. So basically they started their private practice in 2000 in Point Pleasant. Um, during that time, the focus in mental health was basically on connecting the mind and body. So they worked together and kind of came up with an um, integrative, like awesome approach of combining sand play with EMDR, um, which I'm sure some of you um, know what that is. So they were kind of known for that as that research was expanding, they were combining them together. We relocated in 2004, they expanded their practice, which is where we are right now in Edentown. Um, and we have about 10 clinicians on staff with us as of right now. A year later, they started developing um, our training program that we have to provide sampling training for providers um, here. It was becoming more popular and we were one of the only known facilities here for training providers in sand play. And we were happy that in 2013, we finally got CEUs um, so that you guys can, can get credit for all your training that you're doing here at Lighthouse. And then most recently in 2017, um, Gretchen has been awesome creating an equine therapy program that's actually in Costa Rica, combining um, courses again with sand play and her partner in crime there, her name is Sally Nielsen and she is awesome with horses. So they were trying to combine that together, um, creating our program Healers Healing. So that's awesome. And we have trained over 4,000 clinicians globally, which I think that's our most recent statistic that we have found. Um, our belief here is to creating like the mind and body and spirit. They're equally impacted by trauma that one experiences, any transitions, illness, loss, and childhood wounds. And our mission is to treat the whole person with therapies that release and heal to better assist them. These are just some of the services. Everyone here is trained in sand play therapy. So they've gone through the whole training, which I can explain kind of that training um, later on. Most of our clinicians here, a majority of us are also trained in EMDR, which I am also trained in EMDR myself. We do trauma-specific yoga. We have a 
drama therapist that's on board with us. We do parent counseling, group therapy, um, provide clinical supervision, couples counseling. So we provide a lot of services here, diverse. We treat a variety of different conditions, um, trauma, grief, addiction, autism. This is just some of them. If we think that after doing an intake that they don't fit you know, our um, style here, then we will refer out, make the necessary referral based off of their intake assessment. Um, so that is, we are always trying to connect with other providers you know, if we can't meet the needs of the client. Most recently, we will be starting our th socialization group, which will be starting on September 9th. I'm not going to read all of these, but these are kind of what we're going to go through each week. It's an eight week program. Um, we will do an intake and then we will also um, to make sure that they're group appropriate, obviously. And then we will do our eight week program, which is on a Saturday for an hour. Um, I know we are going back and forth. If you have any questions about this, certainly reach out. And if there's something that we want to work out as far as like, you know, going back and forth with documentation or flex funding, whatever you guys need, definitely we're here to support you. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you always can reach out. Um, we also do our training for providers here. So we have um, a beginning training that is three days long. We also offer an intermediate and an advanced training. So the best way to find out when our trainings are is definitely to go on our website and it outlines everything. You also can register there as well. So that is the best bet as far as, you know, finding what's our upcoming training. When is the next training starting? Um, definitely take a look on our website and you can just register straight from there. It's a pretty simple process. But again, if you have any questions about about it, you always can reach out to our office and we can help you try to get into what group you're looking for. Um, sometimes they are, you know, full, so then you would have to obviously register for the next upcoming group. We also offer free trainings. Tony, who is a provider here, goes out within the community to offer free sand play trainings to different um, agencies. We go into agencies, schools, hospitals. So definitely also, if that's something that you're interested, we would be more than happy to come out to the CMO to provide that if you know some of you guys are interested in doing so. Um, ideally, we want at least eight participants in the group. Um, but Tony brings out her sand tray. She brings out all of her miniatures, which is awesome. Um, but that's something that we also you want to kind of give back to our community and the providers because we know that you guys do a lot. Um, and that's really all I have. Here's our information so that you have it. You also can scan the QR code that will bring you directly again to our Instagram or social media. And that's the best way to find out any of our upcoming events. And that's all I really have for you guys. Um, just a couple of plugs. So Tony was one of the um, first IICs. Uh, she's been <laughs> around since that since I can remember, and I've been doing a been with CMO for sixteen years. So she was one of yes. our first uh, trauma based IIC therapists that works in the county. Unfortunately, she doesn't do the IIC in Ocean County anymore, but. They're very yeah. busy at Lighthouse, as you can see. <laughs> yes, and we do. We try to get through like our referrals as fast as we can. Sometimes, you know, there are times where we have months waiting lists and other times we don't. It kind of just depends on timing, um, but we do our best. We go through the phone calls that we get to get, you know, everyone on the list, at least to get back to them as soon as possible. Um, but Tony is. Tony is amazing. She's awesome. And she's still going out within the community to try to give back and do her free trainings. Yeah. And so she gets the system of care. I know it's changed a lot in the last 16 years, but she understands the basic wraparound and the premise. And I would say it's pretty much throughout Lighthouse. They they understand, uh, you know, how it works and who we work with, because it is a unique population. It's, you know, the, the families we serve. Um, it, it, and it, go ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> And we can help with flex funds for these groups. It's just a matter of the families getting to eat in town, which sometimes can be a barrier. But, it, you know, if that's not an issue, um, it's definitely a possibility. And, you know, trainings like these, it depends on um, OPC's budget, but sometimes there is money in the budget to help pay for trainings. I mean, there is. So if it's something you were really interested in, um, you know, talk to your supervisor about it. And uh, we have had them come in in the past and we can bring that up for the hour and a half uh, sand tray plane training. I mean, it's just good to understand what it is. So if families are interested 
it's important. And what was the age of the sand tray groups? Because we have a lot of kids under 10 and we struggle to find resources for them. Yeah, it's really hard to find providers, especially for the little ones. And sand play actually works. And sand play, you can use diverse, but we do see a lot of little ones. Obviously, it's geared towards them, but also you can work with it all ages. Right now, we're looking between the ages of like six to eight with our groups. And again, Great. our process is we're going to do our intake. Also, a lot of times we have to look at where they're at developmentally with other children just because, you know, their chronological age is certain. We're also looking at developmentally where the child is at just to make sure our group is around, you know, same functioning and that they you know, are cohesive together. But right now we're looking at the ages of like six to eight. Um, but if you have someone that you think is younger, definitely give us a call and we can more than happy to like collaborate with you. Um, we are trying to get different age groups going. This is something that we're starting um, be just because we've seen more need for groups. Um, so definitely if you have a younger, you know, um, someone younger on your caseload, definitely reach out. We can try to see if they're group appropriate too, or we can try to brainstorm together if they're younger than six. And if transportation's a barrier, you know, we have different means to help with that, whether it be Uber or gas card. So don't, you know, kind of keep that stuff in mind. We just want to make sure these families get linked to the help they need. Because as you know, in person's hard to come by. And just in general, it's been tough finding services, especially for that age group. So you know, we have the funds through Flex funds to help the family. So keep that in mind. And even I know with yours, like if you're transitioning out and you're looking for more like individual services, I know again, we're out of pocket, so it might be difficult with the populations that you're working with, but even give us a call if there's something we take on pro bono, like I take on pro bono cases. Um, there are other people that do that as well, sliding scale. So if you have a question, definitely just reach out and we can see if we can do it. And if not, then we'll let you know. I mean, the youngest that we're working with right now, I have that I'm working with on my caseload is three years old, as young as three. Um, and then we have up until, you know, I think our oldest right now, I believe my coworker has someone who's like 80. Um, so there's there's a variety. And I know it's harder when we're looking at um, services for the young ones, specifically around three and four, to get them linked. So if you certainly, you know, have a question, give us a call and we might be able to work something out as well. Any other questions for Sarah? All right. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate you uh, yes. taking the time to inform yes, us about the services and hopefully get some referrals from us. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.